Okay, so again, we're given three terms that are of, in an arithmetic sequence. A, B, C's are elements of R, and none of them are zero. So express B in terms of A and C. So we'll use our same technique again of knowing, because they're arithmetic, that to move up along, we add on a D. So basically, if we subtract two of these, we need to get D. Okay, so if I start here with the first one and start with the last one, so 1 minus C minus 1 over B will be the exact same thing if I start with 1 over B and subtract A. Now bringing all the B's together, minus 1 over B minus 1 over B will be equal to minus 1 over A minus 1 over C. And a quick sign change here will make everything positive and maybe a little bit easier to work with. Okay, now the next thing, our common denominator here is B, okay, and 1 and 1 is 2. Our common denominator here is AC, and A into AC will give me C, and into this one will give me A. Now, the fact that B, it says express B in terms of A and C, so B cannot be on the denominator, it cannot be on the bottom. So what we need to do is, what we'll do is we'll multiply, because this AC is divided, we'll multiply that by the 2, and because the B is divided, we'll multiply that by the C plus A. Now I'm not going to divide this, or I'm not going to distribute this in by multiplication, because I want the B on its own. So I'm going to say that 2AC all over C plus A, or A plus C I suppose, just to keep it in alphabetical order, is equal to 